Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hi. Oh. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Teacher Shen. What's your name? My name is Annie. Annie. Hi, Annie. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, thank you, Annie. How old are you? I'm six years old. Wow, very good. You're six years old. All right, Annie, I will be your teacher today, okay? Okay. Okay, Annie, let's talk first. How many people are there in your family? They're my mom, my little sister, and my dad. And my grandmother and me. Oh, so there are five. Okay, say there are five people in my family. There were five for the five people in my family. Great job. Wow, very good, Annie. So Annie, um how old is your baby sister? She is three years old. Okay, very good. Annie, can you tell me what's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink and red. Well, pink, just like what I'm using now. And red, just like an apple. Okay, can you tell me why do you like pink and red? I like pink because it's beautiful. Wow, well, what about red? Is it beautiful too? Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good, Annie. So, Annie, what's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? Um, do you like elephant? Do you like penguins? Do you like cats? Dogs? I like cats. Oh, you like cat? Wait, a cat like this? Ta -da. <laughs> it's a white cat. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why do you like cat? Because it is cute. Yes, it's cute. Yeah, me too. I like cats. But wait, hold on. I'm going to show you another picture of a cat. Wait a minute. You like cat because it's cute, right? What about me? Am I cute now? <laughs> Am I cute now? Yes. <laughs> so I'm cute now. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> Very good. Teacher will give you um a French fries. Ta -da! Oh, here. Do you like French fries? Do you like French fries? <laughs> Do 
Do you like French fries? Like this? Yes. Like it? Yes, me too. Teacher love it. Well, it is, is one of my favorite food. Okay, Annie, great job. Thank you for answering my question. Okay, last one, Annie. Why do you want to learn English? Because I wanted to speak English. Oh, yeah, that's a nice reason. You want to speak English because if you know how to speak English, you can travel to another country and you can talk to any people, right? Yes. Yes. Do you want to travel to another country, Annie? Yes. Oh, where would you like to go? Because I wanted to travel everywhere. Oh, wow. Me too. I want to travel everywhere. <laughs> We're the same. High five. <laughs> High five, Annie. <laughs> We're the same. Okay. So now, Annie, let's start the class. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Say yes. I'm ready. Can you see the screen now? What can you see? Look. I can see a teacher and two students. Very good, Annie. So welcome to Pantado's class and welcome to Teacher Shin's class. Today, teacher will test your vocabulary, your listening, your reading and writing, and your speaking skills. The reason why teacher asks you questions before the class is that is my way of checking your speaking skills. And great job for that because you answer all my questions. Now this time, Annie, let's have a vocabulary test. A vocabulary test, I want you to look at the picture and the letters. Here, for example, what's this? It's a... Ear. Okay, say it's an ear. Very good, an ear. How to write the word ear? Look at the letters here. We need letter We need E, A, and R. Great job, Annie. Now this time, let's go to the next picture. The next page, answer me in five seconds. Okay, answer me quickly. One, two, three, go. Number one, what's this? Five. Hand. A hand, very good, Annie. How to write the word hand? Come on, tell me. Let's write the word hand. We need letter. H. A. N and T. Very good, Annie. Great job. Let's go to number two. Look at the picture. What's this? Number two. Foot. A foot. Okay, how to write the word foot? F. Huh? F? Uh -huh. F. 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 Double O. Double O. T. T. Great job. Okay. We say foot because it's only one, right? But we say feet if it's two. Okay. Now look at the third picture now. What's this? Hair. Hair, Annie. Very good. Tell me how to write the word hair. H A H I 
are. Great job. Okay, we're almost done. Number four, what's this? That's a nose. Very good. So how to write the word nose? N O S E. Oh, perfect. Okay, number five. Let's go to number five. What's this? It's a mouth. A mouth. Okay, help me please. How to write the word mouth? M O E M O U T H. Great job, Annie. Wow, your vocabulary is very good. And you know how to spell the word. I think this vocabulary is very easy for you. But this time, teacher will give you five homeworks today. <laughs> Great job, Annie. And here's your Great Star Award. Too. Okay, this time, let's check your listening skills. Can you draw a line on the screen, Annie? Can you draw like this? Can you? Yes. Okay, so teacher will play the audio and you are going to help me find where is Yugu? Where is Jill? Where is Ben? Where is Sue? And where is Mark? Okay, because this girl is Anna. Okay, she is Anna and her mother is May. All right. So we'll draw a line from the name to the picture, just like Anna. So listen and draw a line. Can you draw? Okay, come on. Try to draw a line on the screen, please. Let me see. Try. Try to draw on the screen. I want to see. Try like this. You found it. Okay, that's nice. So this time, Anna, Annie, teacher will play the audio, okay? Wait a minute. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, this is a photo of my favourite toy shop. That's nice, Anna. Are you in the photo? Yes, I'm with my mum. Are you holding your mum's hand, Anna? That's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. My friend Hugo is in this photo too. Where is he? He's sitting on the chair. Is Hugo wearing glasses? Yes. Two. Is your friend's mum in the toy shop too? Yes, her name's Jill. Is Jill wearing boots? Yes, and she's looking at a book about trees. Three. That woman has got a big smile. Yes, her name's Sue. Sue? Yes. She's looking at that toy mouse. It's funny. <laughs> yes, it is. Four. Do you know that boy on the floor? Yes, that's Ben. 
What is he playing with? It's a train. Ben loves them. Yes, I can see. Five. And that man is my friend's dad. His name's Mark. Is he looking at the doll's house? Yes, it's my friend's birthday. Mark wants the doll's house for her. It's very beautiful. Yes, I'd like to have one of those. OK, wait, wait, wait. I can't find the line. Where is Jill, Ben, Sue and Mark? I only see the line of Yugu. OK, where is Jill? All right. Okay, while you are answering, Annie, teacher will play again the audio, okay? Are you holding your mum's hand, Anna? That's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. My friend Hugo is in this photo too. Where is he? He's sitting on the chair. Is Hugo wearing glasses? Yes. Two. Is your friend's mum in the toy shop too? Yes. Her name's Jill. Is Jill wearing boots? Yes. And she's looking at a book about trees. Three. That woman has got a big smile. Yes, her name's Sue. Sue? Yes, she's looking at that toy mouse. It's funny. <laughs> yes, it is. Four. Do you know that okay. boy? I'll wait you. Make a line, Sue, Jill. Okay, let's go to number four now. Be on the floor. Yes, that's Ben. What is he playing with? It's a train. Ben loves them. Yes, I can see. Five. And that man is my friend's dad. His name's Mark. Is he looking at the doll's house? Yes, it's my friend's birthday. Mark wants the doll's house for her. It's very beautiful. Yes, I'd like to have one of those. OK, where is Ben and Mark? All right. Where is Mark? Where is Mark in this picture? Here. Okay. Very good, Annie. So this is... Oh, wait. Hold on. This is Yugu. This is Sue. This is Jill, this is Ben, and this is Mark. Wow, perfect. Okay, Annie, can you tell me what is Jill doing in this picture? Jill is looking at the book of trees. Very good. What about Mark? Mark is looking at the dollhouse. Very good, Annie. Wow. Great job, teacher. We'll give you... Uh-huh. Ta-da. Oh, where is it? Five stars. <laughs> Great job, Annie. Very good. You're so smart. And here's a hamburger for you, too. Ah, look. Ah, let's eat. Let's eat. 
Um. <laughs> Great job, Annie. <laughs> okay, this time teacher will test your reading skills. Okay, it's very easy. Look at the pictures. Okay, can you tell me what can you see? Hmm. What? I can see two, I can see two children are building a castle. Very good. Can you see mom, dad, and grandpa too? Mom is throwing the ball for the dog to catch. Very good. And can you tell me where are dad and grandpa? Dad and grandpa are going for a boat ride. They are in a boat. How many children are there again in this picture? There were two. Okay, great job. Now, what is mom throwing to the dog? A ball. Okay, say mom is throwing a ball to the dog. Mom is throwing the ball to the dog. Great job. Perfect, Annie. Now, let's go to the next picture. Oh, look. What's jumping behind the man? A fish is jumping behind the man. Great job. Okay, who is taking a photo? A children is taking a photo. Okay, who, who's children? Who's the children? Who's the child? Is it the boy or the girl? He's a boy. Okay, so the boy is taking a photo. <laughs> right, the boy is taking a photo. Now, how many fish are jumping in the sea? How many fish are jumping in the sea now? Mm -hmm. There were one fish. Look at the screen in the second picture. Here, how many fish are jumping in the sea now? Can you see I the picture? I can't see any fish now. Oh no. What about them? Wait, hold on. That one. Can you see them? There are three fish jumping in the sea. <laughs> Can you see them? Can you see the fish? No. Oh, what can you see in the screen? I see all the pictures, but I cannot see the fish. You can't see the fish? There's one, this, this three fish here. I circled the three fish on the screen. Can you see them? No. Maybe your uh maybe your zoom isn't full screen. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'll try to share the screen again. Wait a minute. Tell me if you can see the screen. Okay. Can you see the whole picture? Can you see the three fish here jumping? Now I can see it. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this are there are three fish jumping in the sea. And who is pointing at the fish? 
grandpa is pointing at the fish. Great job. Very good, Annie. Very good. This time, it's very easy. Answer me with yes or no. Look at the picture. The teacher is cleaning the board. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. The window is open. Yes or no? No. No. There is a box under the table. Yes or no? There is a box under the table. No. No. Two of the children are wearing red t-shirts. Two of the children are wearing red t-shirts. Look at the children here in this picture. How many children wearing red t-shirts? Two. Two. So number four, is it yes or no? Yes. Yes. Great job. What about number five, Annie? The boy with glasses is looking at the computer. Yes or no? No. No, great job. Perfect. Okay, you're so smart. Wait, hold on. Teacher will give you ta -da! some buckets of chicken. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> let's eat. <laughs> Do you like chicken? <laughs> Do you like chicken, Annie? <laughs> Do you like fried chicken? Yeah? <laughs> okay, here. Teacher will give I you a green. Teacher will give you a good job, Star, because you're doing a great job. You're so smart. I think you can use movers material. Okay, this time, Annie. Let's Test your writing skills. Annie, have you got a pen and a piece of paper? Okay, because you are going um, to listen to the audio and it will be faster if you will write your answers on your paper. Okay? Are you ready? Yes? Okay. Look at the questions here. You are going to write a name or a number. You're going to answer the questions one to five, but you need to listen to the audio. Okay. So this time, I want you to write your answers in a piece of paper. Or you can type your answers here in the chat box. Okay, Annie, are we clear? Yes. Okay, let's start. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello. What's your name? My name's Sam. Sam? Yes, you spell it S-A-M. And how old are you? I'm seven. You're seven? Yes, that's right. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. What are you doing, Sam? I'm drawing a picture of a zoo. 
I see. What's the name of the zoo? It's Pet Zoo. Do you spell that P E T? Yes, Pet. That's right. Two. What are your favorite animals? Monkeys. They're very silly. And how many are there in this zoo? Nineteen. Nineteen. Wow, that's a lot. I know. Three. And this is my favorite monkey. <laughs> He's really funny. Has he got a name? Yes, it's Baby. B A B Y. It's very small. Baby is a good name for it. Thanks. Four. This picture is for my teacher. Is your teacher Mrs. Truck? Yes. Do you spell truck? T R U C K. Yes. My classmates and I like drawing pictures for her. Five. Are there a lot of children in your class? No, there are twelve. Pardon? There are twelve. That's good. Yes, my class is great. Okay, Ani, are your answers ready? Yes. Okay, very good. Wow, you listened to the audio once. Now tell me, what's the name of the zoo? Pet Zoo. Okay, can you give me the complete sentence? The name of the zoo is? The name of the zoo is Pet Zoo. How do you spell it? P E T. Great job. How many monkeys are there in the zoo? 19. Great job. What's the name of the funny monkey? Baby. Baby. How to write the word baby? B-A-B-Y. Great job, Annie. And what's the name of Sam's teacher? Mm, Mrs. Chuck. Great job, Mrs. Chuck. How to write the, the name Chuck? T-R-U-K. C R U K. Okay, Mrs. Chuck. C R U C K. <laughs> Mrs. Chuck. Okay, how many children are there in Sam's class? Twelve. Okay, say there are twelve children in Sam's class. Say there are how many children? Say there are twelve children in Sam's class. 
Okay, great job, Annie. We're down now to our last test, which is speaking. Look at the picture. Can you tell me what can you see? Look. I can see a girl is flying kite. And I can see three ducks. Great job. Mm -hmm. Two sheep and a cow. Wow, perfect. Very good. What else? A dog and a boy. Yes, great job, Annie. Can you tell me, Annie, what's the cow doing in this picture? He is eating grass. Very good. What about the dog? Look at the dog. The dog is putting the sheep. Yeah, it's looking at to the sheep. And what's the girl doing? The girl is flying tights. Okay, what about the boy? Tell me, what is he doing? He is bringing a bucket of water. Oh, very good, Annie. Great job. Okay, Annie. So, I'm using a starter's material now. But I think you can use movers, okay? You can study movers if you want to study with us, okay? So I think, what can you say about the, the test? It's easy, right? Yes. Okay, it's easy. So, so if you're going to study with us, we are going to use movers, all right? <laughs> but you're but you're good but you're so good at speaking english annie how long have you been studying english i studied english when i was four years old wow that's nice no wonder you are very smart and you're very good so um let's see this one if you will study i will recommend you to study movers but if you will do an excellent job after one month you can study flyers okay your listening skills are very good you know to answer the reading and writing skills to the right reading and writing skills activity and you speak english very well. Great job, Annie. Okay, so I think that is the end of our demo class for today. So, do you want to study with us in Pantado? Yes. Yes, okay, I love to hear that. And I want to see you again, Annie. Hope to see you again soon. That would be all for today. Goodbye for now, Annie. See you.